we are entering into another topic or another chapter which is continuation of second chapter or which has a connection with second chapter the forms of business organization in forms of business organization we have already learned about what is joint stock company in this chapter we will be learning about the formation of the company so we are starting with the chapter that is chapter 7 as it is connected with the other chapter we are going uh, we are taking this chapter a bit early so it is chapter 7 formation of company now what is formation of a company formation of company is bringing company into existence and if you are looking at formation of a company it is not that easy job that easy task to form a company as we all know it is a complex activity because it has to undergo various legal formalities and procedures it has to perform a number of legal formalities it has to fulfill number of legal formalities it has to undergo number of procedures one by one and in this chapter we are going to study in detail about that as you know a child as he is or she is growing up passes through different stages there is a stage where a child is lying down full time slowly is he or she is start to stand up slowly walks runs and it goes on like that like the life of a human being you can see the formation of a company goes through different stages and that is what we call as formation of company and formation of company the stages of formation of a company is through four stages it starts with the promotion incorporation subscription of capital and the commencement of business so it starts from promotion and it then goes to incorporation then goes to subscription of capital and the commencement of business where promotion is talking about conceiving of a business idea by a person or group of persons or whatever be and taking necessary measures to bring it into existence incorporation means registration of this business idea which is been brought into the form and the subscription of capital is getting money getting capital for taking forward this project and commencement of business is the original starting of the activity of business so any company any joint stock company which is brought into existence has to pass through all this four stages and that's why we are saying that it is a complex activity and in each stage you have to undergo various procedures various uh, uh, legal formalities has to be performed and so on now we are going into detail or we will be learning in detail about these four steps in this chapter and we are going into the first step of promotion or first stage of promotion a first stage of formation that is promotion promotion of a company what is meant by promotion of a company you have to understand that is a first stage in the formation of a company and promotion is starting with conceiving a business idea a business opportunity finding out a potential business opportunity a business opportunity which can be brought into action or which can uh, gain something in return which will be effective which will be successful so that is what is meant by potential business idea a business idea which is apt potential business opportunity means an idea which can get success if it is been implemented so conceiving of that business idea is the first stage and that is uh, and initiative has to be taken any, any idea along will alone will not make sense necessary initiatives have to be taken to bring it into practical shape finding out an idea and take all necessary measures to bring it into practical shape that activity 
can be termed as promotion. That activity can be termed as promotion. And uh, promotion can be done by, promotion can be done by a person or a group of person and even a company and the person who is discovering this potential business opportunity, it is uh, a person who is discovering this potential business opportunity and bringing it into practical shape. That is what is meant by promotion, discovering of business opportunity and taking initiative to bring it into practical shape. It can be by a person, group of persons or even a company and whether it be a person, whether it be a group of person, whether it be a company, we call them by the name promoters, promoters. We call them by the name promoters, promoter or promoters. So, they are the persons who are discovering potential business opportunity and taking necessary measures. Necessary measures means finding out various resources, men, material, money, everything and putting it into practical shape, putting into working condition, bringing it into working condition. It, it, it is not kept as an idea itself, idea is necessary measures are being taken to bring that idea into a working condition and that persons are known as promoters, the activity which they are doing, identifying potential business opportunity and taking initiative to bring it into practical shape that is called promotion and various functions are performed by promoters in the activity of promotion or promotion consists of various functions which are performed by promoters. That means this one, discovery of potential business opportunity and taking initiative to bring it into practical shape, number of activities has to be performed by promoters and that is what we call as functions of promoters, functions of promoters. So, what is the job of promoter? What is promoter doing? First one is First function is identifying business opportunity as we have said, finding out a business opportunity which is viable or finding out a business opportunity which can be, uh, which have investment potential or which is worth of investing. Not just doing something what everyone is doing, each area or each type of business have some specialties. So, finding out that business opportunity which can be successful, which can fetch us profit, which will stay for long. So, finding out, identifying the business opportunity, identifying the business opportunity, whether to product, whether to produce the thing, whether to buy it from and sell it to another, whether it is connected with uh, uh, what to say, uh, whether it is an absolutely new product or whether it is an existing product. So, business opportunity has to be identified. What is that we are going to do? That is to be identified by promoter. So, identification of business opportunity. What is the business we are going or in which area of business we are going to enter? And we have to check out or they are checking out in identifying business opportunity the promoter is checking out whether it is having investment potential, whether it's, it's worth investing into a business opportunity. That is first function. Second one is feasibility study. Feasibility study is helping in checking out whether business opportunity is worth because it is analysis of business opportunity. It is the analysis, detailed investigation of various aspects of business opportunity identified. Detailed investigation, it is detailed investigation. Feasibility study is detailed investigation, detailed investigation. detailed investigation regarding the business opportunity 
it is regarding the business opportunity that is called feasibility study. Now, in three areas feasibility study is been conducted or three areas are basically investigated in detail. First one is technical feasibility. Technical feasibility. What is meant by technical feasibility? Technical feasibility is talking about uh, how we are going to execute or whether we will be able to handle that business opportunity, whether we will be having uh, what to say, whether idea is capable of being executed, whether there is enough raw material available, whether there is a technology available. So, it is detail analysis regarding the technical aspects, whether uh, raw materials are available, whether the technology for production is available, whether machines are available, such kind of technical aspects are being investigated in detail in technical feasibility. Second one is financial feasibility, financial feasibility. Financial feasibility is talking about uh, whether we can get enough funds, whether enough funds are available, whether financial resources are available, whether financial resources are available and which are the sources from which we are going to get the finance for the identified business opportunity. So, it is about the financial aspect of the business opportunity. So, it did detailed analysis regarding the sources of funds and the availability of funds and how we can utilize it or whether when we are utilizing it, whether it can be uh, of worth In that way also we can say. So, financial feasibility is another area of detailed investigation. Third one is economic feasibility. Economic feasibility. Economic feasibility is something which is connected with financial feasibility, whether it is viable, whether it is viable, even it is worth the thing. We are checking out whether it is profitable in nature. It is not just enough that we are able to balance, it is required that we have, we need to have profit, whether it is having profit earning capacity, profit earning capacity or whether it is profitable, checking out the profitability aspect is what is happening in economic feasibility. So, feasibility study is the second function, detailed investigation regarding the technical aspects, financial aspects and economic aspects are done by a promoter that is second function. Third one is name approval, name approval, a name has to be there for the organization. For that what uh, and this name has to be there in almost all the details. So, it, it helps company to be identified separate from its competitors. For name approval what a promoter do is that a promoter will suggest a name, but you cannot expect that the name which is given should be accepted because there can be another company in the same name. So, what is being done is that for name approval, you, you what you can do is that you can suggest any three names in the order of uh, what to say in order of your priority, priority three names is submitted to the registrar, to the registrar of companies and from among them registrar selects the name because name must not be similar to any competing company, it must not mislead uh, customers or other companies, in such a lot of things are to be considered. So, for name approval what promoter has to do is that promoter has to submit three names on priorities, on priority basis three names have to be submitted from among them. If the first name is not selected by any other company, it will be given. So, on, prior, on priority basis each name will be taken or not taken. 
So, three names have to be given to the registrar of companies and from among them registrar gives the name for the company a name is been approved which is to be used in almost all the documents. So, that is what is called name approval that is the third step. Now, fourth one is fixing up signatories for MOA, MOA is memorandum of association it is a basic document which is to be prepared which is talking about each and every aspect of the company and it has to be signed by some persons it has to be signed by uh, persons and the persons who are signing this memorandum of association becomes the first directors of the company so it is the duty of promoter to find out who are the persons who are going to be the first director of the company who is going to sign the memorandum of association. So, fixing up the persons who have to sign the memorandum of association and for that they need to buy qualification shares. Qualification shares are shares which are purchased by the persons who are signing memorandum of association before allotment of shares. So, qualification shares must be purchased and those persons have to sign in memorandum of association. It is promoter who is deciding who is going to sign in memorandum of association fixing up signatories the persons who are going to sign. Fifth one is appointment of professionals, appointment of professionals. Appointment of professionals are uh, basically there are two professionals one is mercantile banker and another one is auditor. Mercantile bankers are those uh, financial institutions which are helping in uh, giving guidance regarding raising of funds, uh, sources or fundraising or underwriting or such kind of uh, financial aspects or financial financial tech technically financial areas or in finance there are some areas which are to be handled in a particular manner. So, uh, mercantile bankers are those institutions which are providing necessary guidance assistance in the area of uh, uh, what to say regarding raising of funds uh, regarding uh, the procedures regarding uh, underwriting that means uh, subscribing the unsubscribed shares all those things are to be done by mercantile bankers. So, uh, mercantile bankers does not do that financial uh, dealings with the customers as a regular bank is doing. It is giving financial advices, financial aid uh, in this areas regarding companies and all they are providing those aid, help. And, uh, fixing up which is the mercantile banker and auditors surely they have they are the persons who are looking into the accounts of the company they are preparing all the detailed accounting system of the company. So, auditors have to be appointed professionals that is mercantile bankers and mercantile bankers bankers and auditors that they have to be appointed. And last function is preparation of necessary documents, various documents as we have said in the beginning it is a complex process with lot of legal formatties, lot of procedures are there, lots of lot of paperwork are to be done. So, various documents are to be made said as memorandum of association, articles of association, consent of directors. Um, a lot of lot of documents have to be submitted agreement statutory declaration all these things have to be submitted by to the registrar of companies and it is prepared by it is prepared under the leadership of promoter so these are the functions of promoter so we have seen how a company is formed or which are the stages through which a company is coming into it is a shape that is formation of company and the first stage we are talking about that is 
the promotion. We have seen what is promotion, what are the functions of promoter.